So today is our last Monday of every month, Live AUA, which stands for Ask Us Anything. So if you've never joined us before, welcome. Um, so this is a blank slate. Um, you guys get to ask, you guys get to type in your questions. Um, please make these product and health related questions, health, wellness, you know, the, the whole uh, full circle. And uh, we'll do our best to answer them on the spot. Uh, that way you can get your answers, but it really does help others because some people may not have the same questions and then they realize that they had that question too and they learn from you. So no question is a bad question. So please write them in. Send them so, in, guys. Yes. So I'm Lisa and this is Dr. Ryan. Welcome to our AUA. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, yeah, follow. Sure our channel. Um, it really helps us, but it also helps you. It helps you so you don't miss any of our live trainings and it allows you to watch our previous ones, especially if you're just joining us and you realize we've been doing these for a very long time. So there's a lot of great information on there. So as I'm talking, please make sure you are writing in your questions. Ryan's going to kind of breeze through them. Um, you know, to look for any as we go. Sometimes these, these AUAs are short. Sometimes they're long. Again, you guys dictate. Um, I really didn't receive many via email. Um, we have received though lots of questions on like a routine. And I think this comes with as we launch new products and um, we've recently launched three. Yeah. yeah, three in, in the, you know, pretty, pretty close uh, proximity to each other. So it does get confusing as you add these in and you're wondering now what, where does this fall into my supplement routine? And if you don't have a supplement routine, we really advise you getting on one because that's also how you stay consistent. If you just randomly decide, oh, I forgot to take my supplements, pop up, you know, doing it all throughout the day, week, you actually forget. And with supplements, you know, these are, these are daily supplements. Um, they're designed to support our body with its daily needs. So you need to be consistent to actually reap the benefits. Um, so that's very important. Um, so there's a few things, and we do, if you haven't checked out our website, livegood.com, make sure you do. Um, each product has a learn more section, and under that learn more section, you have to keep scrolling because we do give a lot of information, but in there, there's always a how to use, and sometimes there's like a pro tip, you know, things that are not necessary, but like we recommend. Um, so make sure you utilize those that will really help you formulate uh, or form a, a routine for you. And now each one, each person's routine can be a little different. So I'm just going to kind of highlight the specifics that we recommend. And the big one is magnesium, right? So magnesium should be taken in the later part of the day. Um, many like before bed. It does help with sleep. It does help relax the nervous system. So that's why the later afternoon before bed can help with that, you know, sleep sleep process. Um, but with magnesium, magnesium can also bind to other vitamins and minerals and medications. And with, with you know, that ends up maybe decreasing their, their effectiveness, right? In a nutshell. So with, without having to get too scientific about it. So we, we don't. And, and I think it's like really just a precautionary thing, right? It's just like advisory in a way, because like if we, you know, we're not going to change the time that we eat our dark chocolate or some of the nuts that have magnesium in it, right? Right. Dietary wise, sure. you're not thinking like that. Sure. So don't obsess. And that'll be the bottom line of it today when we yes. talk about spacing. Do not obsess yes. over the proper spacing. Right. But, you know, try to take the magnesium separately if you can. Yeah. Um, recommendations on the multivitamins. Multivitamins have, um, especially ours, have the full B, B vitamin complex. B, B vitamins are known to give you lots of energy. Um, so it's not like caffeine or anything like that, but they can stimulate you. So we always advise taking those in the earlier part of the day. And because um, multivitamins have a lot of vitamins and minerals in one, um, especially with the B, B vitamins, if you don't take them with food, you can get a little queasy. Well, not really on the bees. Those are water soluble. Which one? I mean, they the make, a, vitamins make me queasy. Do, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And that, there you go then. That's a personal thing, right? But uh, the reason why we would say with food is fat solubility is sure. better with food. So A, D, E, and K, even the uh, some of the botanicals that are in there, um, fat soluble as well. So. Yes. But if you've ever taken a lot of vitamins on an empty stomach, or maybe if you just had a little bit to eat, oh, sure. you know that feeling, oh, right? You just get like that nausea, queasy feeling. And it passes. But to avoid that, take it with food. And also, like Ryan said, for our fat-soluble vitamins that um, require fat to actually you know, absorb, much better to take with food. Um, okay, so I address the magnesium and the multivitamin. And I'm just covering like the basics. We always say these are your daily essentials. 
we have a daily essentials pack, your magnesium, your multivitamin, and your D. Um, your vitamin D should also be taken in the morning. Uh, vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, so also best taken with food, but we advise taking in the morning because it actually does play a role in your sleep wake, wake cycle and melatonin production, right? So you want to take your vitamin D in the morning, right? So great idea is after you have breakfast or your first meal of the day, take your, um, take your multivitamin and your D. Now step before that, what we like taking on an empty stomach first thing in the morning, our new, one of our newer launches, our probiotic, um, our probiotic gut support supplement, and as well as the shilajit and sea moss. Those are great on an empty stomach. Now, does it have to be? Not 100%. Again, these are recommendations, but it is best on an empty stomach. So if you want to think about how to add that in your routine, you take that right first thing when you wake up. Um, <clears throat> then enters our newest detox, which get many questions on, ah, how do I incorporate this? Because you're saying not to take it with everything. Again, you do the best you can, right? So if you're doing your detox um, servings, one in the morning and one at night, just try to separate them a little bit the best you can. So let's say you wanted to take the detox first thing in the morning, right? When you wake up with your glass of water. So add it in, drink that water, and then, you know, wait 20, 30 minutes if you can. But again, this is not like black and white. This is not a rule. So recommendations. All right, let's go to the board here. Sounds great. Hmm. So somebody said earlier about Senna. They wanted to see Senna or have Senna in, de in our detox. So senicides for uh, bowel movements are stimulant laxatives. It's not something we're into. Um, so that's not something that we will be doing. Um, Creatine. There was a question here about creatine. Can you explain creatine? Um, we can just tell you a little bit about creatine very briefly is that there's a whole Zoom on this, by the way. So you can go on our YouTube channel and check out the creatine yes. HMB. And there's a lot of info. We go very much in depth on how much the body naturally produces. Why is it important to replenish the stores of creatine as our bodies use it for fuel? And many, many other good reasons right. and attributes to the, the benefits of using creatine on the body on the muscle, of course, but also for the brain, um, for men and for women, the, and of course, HMB for the recovery and all the benefits of HMB as well. So awesome product. Everybody should be taking it. Most studied product, I think, probably ever. I mean, it's up there. There's a lot of studies, many, many years of studies. 100% effective. 100% effective at improving the cellular hydration of the cell because it does pull water in similar to the way osmosis works. So it does do that. Um, which on a cellular level, that's what we're looking for and it increase, can increase our stamina and our output. So therefore can help us improve our lean muscle mass, especially under tension. Right. Um, I still want to touch yeah, back on that, that detox one, but let me just say also with the creatine guys, with many things, our production of cre our natural production of creatine declines as we age. Mm -hmm. So, um, we need to replenish that, but it's also, there's so many new studies, um, and just a big push right now to help to let females understand the importance of this creatine, especially when you're entering that postmenopausal phase, right. when maintaining that muscle mass is very difficult. Uh, when we enter menopause, we just have a decline in muscle mass and it really declines our health. So really important to do that. But also you think about the brain health benefits like Ryan was talking about in menopause with the brain fog and just everything going on, the lack of hormones, it's a lot. And creatine has a lot of promising support there. So making sure you check that out. Um, so that was from Gary. Thanks, okay. Gary. I want to touch back on the Senna question with the detox. Um, the question was, is there anything else in our detox like Senna? No, what you see in the detox is chlorophyll and zeolite. Another reason why I wouldn't, wouldn't use something like Senna is like, this detox is a daily supplement to support the body's natural detox processes. Give it a little bit of a, oomph. it's not something that, um, we want to go on this like detox diet and do something extreme and stimulate our bowel movements or, you know, whatnot. That's not the goal. Um, we've also talked about in our previous training, which we just did last week on mm -hmm. detox. Yeah, last week. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of negative side effects to these strong detoxes that do physiological things that we don't really want. So here's no. a question about expanding on that. Um, I'm using the detox and noticing constipation. I had the same issue with the lean as well. Um, I mean, with lean, you know, you're d acting directly on the gut. So that can happen as your body is getting used to it. That's why we also talk about drinking a lot of water mm -hmm. because it's very high fiber content, right? Um, but when it when it comes to the detox, I mean, it's not known to cause you know constipation. But with that, if you're experiencing that, make sure you hydrate. 
got to drink a lot of water to help flush the system. Yeah, exactly. And it depends on your dosing too. Like, so the, the, the detox is up to four dropperfuls a day, but really you can start at one. So if you're there at four or three or two, dial it back to one and just do it before bed and make sure you have that magnesium on board too before bed. So that it does actually, it will have, especially, and you can increase your magnesium. You can go to three capsules before bed and that may help that bowel system regulate. But look, if you're having trouble with these products onboarding, there's some already dysregulation there too, like something is imbalanced. So you want to make sure that we're adding in these things slowly, methodically. Um, and like she, she said, it's, hydration is really important, uh, especially on the, the lean. We've talked about that in the, in the Zooms there too. So, okay, awesome. Something about can you give the detox to pets? I mean, this is just like a recommendation, like when it comes to children, pets, anything like that, you know, discuss that with the professionals or the veterinarian. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't because if they have exposure to environmental toxins just like we do and maybe they're experiencing some say skin reaction or you know could be but best to talk to the vet uh, yeah i mean i can get back to you on that i don't mind making a, a statement on it if i was up to speed on it i'm not so i will check into that that's an easy one to research for you though mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and jump on something. I just really remember questions I get a lot. I get a lot of questions about iron. Our women's multivitamin is formulated with, with iron. Thanks, Kelly. So iron is, um, I mean, we all need iron, but sometimes postmenopausal women don't need it. This is not a black and white rule. Sometimes they don't need it because they're not losing that monthly blood, but it doesn't mean that they don't need it. This would be based on your blood work. But I get a lot the question a lot, if a male needs iron, like people are asking, can we just have an iron supplement? If a, if a male needs the iron, you can also swap over to the women's multivitamin. If a woman does, a woman does not need the iron, they can take the men's multivitamin, okay? What you were just saying, there's a question? No, no, I was just browsing through. I said mm -hmm. hi to Kelly. She was sitting there giving us a nice um, compliment. Yes. Yeah, so where'd that go? What about this fasting one? Oh, this, so this person is just saying, I was just talking about the magnesium. I was taking the magnesium in the morning. But it makes me sleepy. That's why we also recommend taking it later afternoon, night. It can cause sleepiness, right? That's why we like it for sleep. Mm -hmm. um, what if we are doing the 16 hour fast? So when to take the supplements? So like 16, eight, I mean, again, this goes with the same thing. So when I say take it with, I try not to say take it with breakfast. I try to say take it with your first meal of the day. So I don't know what your, your 16, eight window is. A lot of times that's naturally a fast for Ryan. I may be 14 to 16, but I, I usually eat my first meal of the day around 10. So that's when I take my fat soluble vitamins, right? So that's where I take the vitamin D and the multivitamin. I also take my factor for then. But prior to that, the things that we have won't break a fast. Um, I mean, of course, your protein powder will break a fast. Um, the collagen has, you know, calories that can break a fast. But I mean, other than that, um, the supplements you can take on empty, they weren't, they're not going to break a fast. What's up, Pia? An empty stomach can sort of carry good coffee? Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. CBD oils. Don't know what the question is about CBD oils. Um, international orders guys when they're ordered from our u.s warehouse they can take anywhere from three to four weeks um obviously things out of our control might lengthen this and this it happens like we 100 don't have control over this um but if it's ordered from our um, germany warehouse which is our international wellness pack uh, there's a shorter transit time you know probably about two weeks one to two weeks but it really just depends on um your location Cool. You see this? Does a lean oh, product sorry. have to lose fat around my middle? Well, again, it's a body composition enhancement formula. So two major players in lean is it's de designed to help you eat less by the fiber, the glucomannan expanding in your stomach, helping you feel full. So you're eating less for your meal. That's why we also say take it 30 to 60 minutes you know, prior to eating. But it also helps to, especially the Stimulate. berberine and the hops, it helps to balance blood sugar. And a lot of times what it, you know, these blood sugar spikes when we eat, um, that's what, that's what causes weight gain or contributes to it. Right. So, um, yes, it can, but again, there's no such thing as spot treating. Like if we could take a pill and say, take this off of here, like that'd be amazing, but no such thing. So your body is going to, to, um, lose its fat where, how it loses its fat. Some of us store more fat in our hips. Some of us store more fat in our, in our midsection. 
but then you also have to enter those fun hormones, right? Hormonal weight loss is difficult. Um, if we have hormonal imbalances going on, we tend to store, females tend to store around our midsection. If we have high cortisol levels, we tend to store fat around our midsection. So you also have to work on that, right? So it's not just a one time fix all thing. Let's take lean and lose fat in our midsection, unfortunately. So you really have to do it all. Pay attention to it all. The hard thing about that, that stomach area or that midsection area is that's a lot of times that visceral adipose tissue, they call it VAT, is the dangerous stuff. That's the stuff that crowds your organs. So if that's you, then definitely need to focus on developing that lean body, body mass for sure. Um, all right. Pia said this is how she does hers. She adds the creatine in the coffee each morning. That's nice. good. All right. Cool. I love organic coffee. Yeah, Clifford, for sure. So do we. Yeah, organic coffee go. is necessary. If you haven't jumped on board with our organic coffee, guys, the coffee bean is one of the dirtiest crops out there. Dirty by meaning it's sprayed, heavily sprayed with pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. And this is really to help the growing process. It's it's um it's difficult to grow. It's also grown in a shady, naturally it would be grown in a shady environment. So that's also breeds a lot of mold. So more important to just know your source, drink organic, but we've got that taken care of for you with our Live Good Organic Coffee. So check it out. All right, I hesitate to click on this, but I'm going to do it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hey, Susan Ann, this is a question that's just almost impossible to answer because as a pharmacist and healthcare provider, really for anybody, that nobody should go on the record making any claims that you can treat, prevent, cure, or mitigate the disease process. Alzheimer's disease is a very scary um, metabolic disease that is set in place many, many years prior to it, and it's even hard to get an official diagnosis, obviously, but post-mortem they can do a lot to analyze the brain tissue and it's scary. It's, it, it really is frightening. But more and more science, studies and science have, have come out to support the things that we can do to avoid uh, developing signs of uh, early onset Alzheimer's or dementia. And uh, there's a lot that can be done. So when it comes to methylene blue, methylene blue does have a number of different mechanisms of action that could play a role in, in the world of you know, early stage or prior to making sure that we're holding off and pushing off the, the development of dementia because it's a redox agent. It can really, it's, it really fires up our mitochondria. And at the end of the day, um, mitochondria are the, are the most important factors in our cellular health when it comes to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So we've really got to preserve that mitochondrial function. We have to preserve it by in, improving our lean muscle mass, by supplementing, by eating healthy, by exercising, all the different things we talk Keeping about all the time. Inflammation down. But if you type, and here's the last thing I'll say, if you type in like the benefit, what are the benefits of methylene blue? You'll hear some, you'll see some pretty outrageous claims on there related to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, but you'll be able to kind of scrub through and see where that science is, what they're referring to, what they're talking about. I don't typically recommend just Googling things, but that's the best way for me to kind of push it off and say, you know, see if you can find some stuff that, that piques your interest. If you'd like, I can send you studies. We do have a lot of actual clinical trials and studies that have been done utilizing methylene blue. Um, awesome. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if this is one you can answer without looking. Oh, sorry. Into it more, but ooh, where'd I go? Mm-hmm. This touch screen is okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's business. I'm sorry, business, business stuff that you guys not are not health and wellness. I would scroll with your finger right down there. There you go. So I had a question about epilepsy. That's what I was trying to show you. Um, is there anything like known 100% contraindicated for epilepsy that we have? That's something you can answer off the top of your head. Or you need to go to your. I mean, excite stimulants. We don't use any real. We honestly, we don't use any real thermogenics. We have some caffeine in our products and some different things, but that's very rarely a trigger. Honestly, I'd go back and say what we have that's good for epilepsy, of course, is a whole food-based ingredients and supplements we talk about. But CBD, um, you know, they did approve, the FDA actually did approve a Charlotte's Web version of CBD. And there's Epidiolex, uh, which is a brand name drug, big pharma drug that's CBD uh, used for um, epilepsy. Um, and I believe vitamin D deficiency is a Yeah, that's what I mean. It's magnesium. It and, you know, you have a lot of contributing factors. Anytime you're missing important essential vitamins and minerals um is it okay is it okay to mix the powder supplements hot water or does it remove some of the benefits now we're not boiling right we're just maybe drinking say if you want to have i'm assuming say sally you want to have it super reds as like um a tea which is actually really 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 good um just mix it in more you know warm water drinkable tea cool enough to drink drinkable to eat sally how's scotland this time of year 
Uh, but yeah, oh, no, I, the, I was the, like, I was yeah, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hot water is totally <laughs> fine. You're not going to deactivate or, or uh, denature the peptides or protein uh, at that temperature. Right. You'll be fine. And the collagen, you know, mixes well as a nice, like better. you want to do like yeah. a tea. Sure. Uh, I do, 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 do. Let's knock out like maybe three or four more. Okay. Okay. Ryan just touched on the methylene blue, brain health, learning. Um, remember creatine, great for brain health, but there's also, you know, magnesium, B vitamins. <clears throat> I use the protein powder, but not the creatine. Um, yes, Linda, they are very different. So a protein, a protein powder gives you like your protein source, right? Protein is a, a macronutrient. We need our macronutrients every day. We need our protein, our carbohydrates and our fats. That has nothing to do with creatine. Creatine is, um, our bodies make their own creatine, declines as we age, we need to supplement with it. It helps with, um, it helps with muscle growth, stamina, it helps brain health. Um, they're two completely different players in the game. They're also a great combination. So you can easily take your creatine and just drop it into your smoothie when you're making it. You will not taste it. What? I don't know oh. if you wanted to. No, I was just reading. Trying to find one. Yeah, any more, guys, make sure you write in. But again, if you joined us late, make sure you check out our website, livegood.com. This is where you're going to see all of our products available to order. But you can also click on the Learn More sections of our products where you can learn more. Um, each no, I shouldn't say each product. Most products do have a training video. Um, Dr. Ryan is working on updating all those. So there soon will be, you know, one to three minute quick video that just highlights the points that you guys can watch. But it's you can also share with others. Right. Because the, one of the biggest goals with Live Good is you know, to get our high quality, affordable products in the hands of everybody. So word of mouth, guys, sharing is huge. Yes. It's huge for us. Um, and you know, it's nice to help others, especially when you know you're also helping them save money and you're helping their health. Like the, we win. Here's a suggestion. I think we should do a video on this alone. Um, sure. S, I'm not sure if you're male or female, but fertility, there's many, I've, I've read a lot about that. We went, we had some difficulty with fertility early on, but from a supplement perspective, there's a lot that can be done uh, that needs to be on board. You need to have supplements on board for sure. But check out Shilajit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the Shilajit and the sea moss that we just came out with actually has quite a few interesting studies on there as it relates to on the male side, the quality of the sperm, the uh, antioxidants that can protect the sperm, as well as the beneficial effects on testosterone, lutein luteinizing hormone, follicle, follicle stimulating hormone. And then in the female, um, also has some beneficial effects as well. So sure. And also just on top of that, I wanted to add this as a, just a nice little touch, but also to touch on that, you also need to make sure you don't have nutrient nutrient deficiencies, which again, 99% yes. of the U S population does at least yeah. one, which one is really, nobody really just has one, but you want to make sure you prevent those nutrient deficiencies or eliminate them. You want to decrease the unwanted inflammation and you want a high load of antioxidants because this is your daily essentials pack, your factor four, your super greens and super reds. This is fueling your body with what it needs, right? Your body has to have what it needs to function right for you. You want to make a baby. It's got to be working for you. So it's not just like take this and everything will be great. You really need to take care of your body. Um, Amy, very awesome. I've lost 56 pounds in seven months by adding exercise and taking all the live good supplements for 13 months. Amazing job, Amy. Keep that's up the great incredible. work. Yeah. And then that's like, I guys want you guys to, to really like value what Amy is saying. She's been taking all the supplements and also adding in other lifestyle factors such as exercise. I'm sure Amy's eating great as well, but all of these in combination, again, your body's going to work for you and you're not just going to lose five pounds. You're going to lose 56 pounds. Amazing job. Yeah, and I'm sure, I mean, that's not every, not every month was eight pounds. You probably had some bigger months and some smaller months, but, you know, that's still pretty aggressive weight loss, but that's amazing. I mean, that's solid. You were doing a lot of good things and you got, you're doing it right. So now you got to focus on that body composition to make sure you're nailing that. Um, how do we know where, someone asked, how do you know where your order comes from if you're ordering from the UK? The only thing that is shipped from our Germany warehouse is the international wellness pack. And you can only see the international wellness pack on our website if you actually have an international IP address, because that is only available for international. Everything else will come from our U.S. warehouse, everything. Okay. 
Um, you live in Florida. Can you purchase supplements in person? No, unfortunately we can't. Um, I mean, look, I even have friends that say that, Hey, I can just swim by and pick them up, you know, give me the money. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's a system guys. You, you order on the website. It goes straight to our warehouse, our packers start packing, get it shipped out next day. So it's a very, uh, regulated efficient system. Um, should, ahead, should I take the shilajit with the chlorophyll and zeolite detox? I mean, like we said, they, they can be, but I mean, if you can separate the detox like a little bit from it, right. Just make sure. I would say the same thing. Properly. Yeah. I'd say the same thing, you know I mean? It, but again, not, not a problem. If you're just too busy and can't handle the separation and time and the whatever, that's fine. Melanie says they're trying to get, she's trying to get her body to work in harmony, taking all the products. Should I back off on any to get things to work quickly? No, I wouldn't back off on anything. Again, it's it's fueling with your body with what you need. But in addition to supplementation, we have our seven pillars of health. Supplementation is one of them. Just one. Right. So we have exercise, we have uh, diet, nutrition, whatever, um, stress reduction, right. major players, sleep, hydration, socialization, right? These are <clears throat> actually big players in your body working for itself. Nitric oxide boosters, guys, is it's a first of all, it's a gaseous molecule. It's mostly produced in the endothelium, so the inside of our blood vessels. It is responsible for dilating them, opening them up, increasing the blood flow, lowering pressure. The drugs work on this pathway. Viagra works on this pathway. There's a nitroglycerin for chest pain and angina that works on this pathway. Dietary nitrates found in foods works exactly on the same pathway. So you can use things like exactly our super reds, organic super reds. Not only does it have beetroot, which we know has high amounts of nitric oxide uh, precursor dietary nitrate, but you also have hawthorn berry and pomegranate and grapeseed extract and all these different fruits and some of these things. And they have a very, very powerful effect on increasing nitric oxide. Yeah. So that's Boom. our super reds, but also our essential amino Yeah. Essential um, aminos have arginine uh, and yep. citrulline. I mean, yep. these are all, another key that's players. A good one. I so, love combining super reds and our essential aminos yeah. in the... I do it in the like early afternoon just for like a little. That's true. Natural boost. That is very true. There's a lot of foods and things that have dietary nitrates, but super reds and aminos for sure are designed that way. Lots of positive, positive notes, guys. Things that have, like our supplements have really done to help you energy, weight loss. I mean, great stuff. Um, we do talk about Hi, this Lisha. often, Leisha. Which one of our supplements is best for better eye health? So we have lutein and zeaxanthine in our multivitamins for eye health and vision support. And the carotenoid. So you have vitamin A as well. Yes. And antioxidants. Yeah. And the, the lutein and zeaxanthine in the multis is the pigments from the marigold flower. And they're, they're found in the back of our retina. They absorb blue light. Yeah. So again, that light, that exposure, the indoor lighting, the whole thing. Yes, we need to be doing that. And I'll sure. tell you guys, if you go, say you're shopping the supplement store or whatever, your grocery store, and you see something that says for eye health, read the ingredients going to be lutein, zeaxanthin, vitamin A. That's based on the ARIDS and ARIDS 2 study. So if you want to check that out, ARIDS, A-R-E-D-S, yeah. you can see where the studies support the use of those. Yeah, we wanted to make sure it was just covered in our multivitamin because we all need eye health and vision support. Hey, John, probiotics absolutely every day. I don't mind if you cycle on, cycle off, but if you're going to do that, you should always have fermented like things, different foods. You should have kefir, some yogurt, some, some kim kimchi, sauerkraut. I know that's always weird. It's so easy to say, but if you don't like sauerkraut, you don't like sauerkraut. Right. But mm -hmm. yeah, try it. Try finding different foods that have this, because you do, you need a wide, like just our gut support supplement alone isn't enough. There's thousands of different, you know, bacterial strains. You need a, a wide range of different things, different fibers, right? Different prebiotics, things that feed the bacteria. But I love our gut support. Don't get me wrong. Every day. Definitely. Yeah, we haven't gotten one yet for Alicia for osteoporosis specifically, but bone density is an important, important goal of ours because uh, my mom has all, had severe osteoporosis. Now she's basically osteopenic or neutral, and she just had a hip, hip fracture playing pickleball. It's the craziest thing in the world, but her surgeon said the bone tissue looked amazing. I, I, I can't even believe it. The reason why she was osteoporotic is because she was sedentary, and she was drinking alcohol and eating very, very – poor food choices, didn't have any real good nutrition, didn't supplement, didn't really do any of the pillars of health. So her sleep was compromised, her stress was high, didn't really socialize a lot. This, these are the things. Then she comes, things happen, and we get her back on solid ground. And she's seriously, like, no, no joke, like reversing all of those deficiencies and issues. And her health is skyrocketing. She's doing so good. So when we look at it from bone density, we talk about mm -hmm. nutrition, we talk about all the pillars of health that just basically sums up how you should approach osteo 
or bone density because we need it. We need bone density as we age, man. You can't fall. You can't fracture. You shouldn't be able to, you should be able to be pretty resilient even in your eighties and nineties and right. be able to, so muscle mass is so critical. Bone right. density comes right with that lifting weights, putting loads on. Sure. Go ahead. And to answer the question, I mean, we don't have a calcium supplement, oh, yeah. which you, you. you do need. Yeah. Um, we don't have one yet. Um, but your vitamin D, your magnesium, your multivitamins for those B vitamins, your factor four for your, your omegas and keep the inflammation down, and then collagen. Oh, there was something. Where was Scotland it? Scotland is getting chillier, but still beautiful. I'll bet you it's beautiful. We're Great actually, time to be, yeah, we're, 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 going Sally, there we're heading to Scotland. We got invited to a special event. So we will not have a Monday Zoom in two weeks because we will be in Scotland. Right. Um, oh, something had asked. I, I know where it was right here. Okay. What supplements should you monitor if your sodium potassium blood work came back high? I literally religiously take all supplements daily. Um, I mean, our hydration amplifier is the only one that has the potassium and sodium, but a lot of times this can be dehydration. So are well, you drinking a lot of fluids? It, it can alter the blood work if, you're, yeah, if your sure. blood work comes our, back high. Our aminos also have that. Oh, right. They, they have, have a small amount. Small, yeah. smaller amounts. Um, your kidney function should be analyzed too because your body should maintain those in such a strict range. Uh, homeostasis plays a huge role here. Um, so yeah, I think acid base of... balance, I mean, electrolytes, the body it's, so it may be a kidney thing if there's prediabetes or if you're anywhere in that, that overweight or obese range and your kidney function is slightly compromised, this sure. is where the numbers start to fall right. apart. And so I'm not making any assumptions to S, but right. I'll take that into consideration. Yeah, if that is the function case, function and um, hydration. And if that is the case, we said in the past, but you know, you're going to have to do some other work uh, to get those numbers back in line. Right. Um, we do have a healthy energy drink, Kevin. That is our E3. If you have not tried it, it is so good. Uh, such great clean energy doesn't necessarily just have to be a pre-workout this can be a energy for anything that you do but so try try e3 it's great funny you asked this question if you look up some of the research on uh, zeolite you'll see something about um lung health you will yeah yeah about, about fluid balance in the lymphatic system and lung health and these different things but nac so we don't have an nac supplement yet but uh another yeah. thing that could help with the extra fluid in, in the lungs could be uh, and 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 acetylcarnitine, um, it's a precursor to glutathione. Cool. Okay. And acetylcholine. Right. Yeah. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. <laughs> oh, there's a couple. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring, guys. Yeah, guys, for real. you guys rock.